All right, so first of all, I want to say the point of this recording is uh, I'm giving another shout out to the camp man. And it's kind of a different kind of shout out. I want to ask him a question. And I'm hoping he'll respond in the form of an upload. So first I want to explain something. Uh, the reason why I sound like shit is because I hurt my vocal cords the other day. And it actually wasn't even the other day. It was like, I think it was five days ago now. Or maybe four days ago or, th or something like that. But um, it's a combination of like coughing. And uh, I, I screamed at one point. Nothing serious, but it, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll explain why I screamed. Um, but basically, like, I kind of felt that feeling you get when you know you just fucked up your vocal cords and then the next day you wake up and you sound horrible. It was that type of thing. So it's taken a long time for it to heal and it's and that combined with my scratchy voice is really frustrating. And, and don't worry, and I'm positive it's not COVID um, for various reasons. I mean, it, it kind of just feels like the type of cough, cold I get every once in a while in my life you know, I fucking social distance and all that, so whatever, but yeah, um, it, it's just been frustrating for me, because when I say that I talk a lot, I'm not, like, joking around, I, I'm not saying that to be hyperbolic, I actually do, like, I'm not one of those obnoxious people where you're just sitting there chilling, and I just won't shut up, I'm not like that at all, I actually, uh, am very good at staying quiet, you know, and when I can sense that someone doesn't want to talk or just, or just, you know, d depending on what the scene is, like if you're in a car listening to music, I'm not going to force a conversation on you. And also I'm not one of those people that just hassle strangers, you know, or, or just constantly bother someone that's sitting next to me on the couch or something like that. Like I I'm not one of those types of people, but I am the type of person that engages in a lot of planned conversation. I talk to, you know, I have friends online that I talk to a lot. I have uh, random people that I talk to a lot. I, I mean, I'll literally just, will talk to some random person, you know, off some subreddit for like two hours or whatever. Uh, that, you know, it will just be like a one-off, like we'll never talk again, but we're just chatting about something in particular at the moment. And it's not something I do, you know, like once a year. It's something I do every week. I mean, I, I, I do this stuff a lot and I, I really enjoy it. it. It's almost like a hobby at this point, which sounds weird, like talking to people as a hobby, but it's something I enjoy doing. And my voice has been so trash that I can't even stand the way I sound. Like I was talking to a friend the other day and, um, he kind of was just going on and on. It, it, like, I can't remember what the hell we were talking about. Like, he just kind kind of kept asking me questions about, God, what was it? I can't even remember. But it, and this was like super late at night, and I was like, "Hey, man, I I really gotta go. Like, I I can't stand the way I sound. Like, you know, not to be rude, but I I'm literally annoying myself. <laughs> so, uh, and I also know personally from experience when I've hurt my throat before, my vocal cords or whatever, that if you keep talking, they're never gonna heal. Like, you you can't have an hour long conversation, for instance. Like, you you will they're just going to take you longer to heal. And I'm, I really just want my voice to come back to normal so that I can like engage in conversation and do more uploads and just do what I enjoy doing again. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with that. I hope it doesn't take much longer than a few days, a few more days, or, you know, maybe even a week, but like, I hope this isn't something that's, that's going to take a long time because otherwise I'll be very, very limited to how much I can talk. But yeah, I'm, I basically just, uh, wanted to shout out to the cat man and it's kind of based off this like you know the cough I got for instance like I'm pretty sure it's a cold but our system is such so that like getting tested is kind of hard still and there's waiting times and there's stuff like that and even beyond all that it's just kind of like how the American healthcare system works it, it's it's almost like a culture thing where if you hurt yourself or you have something and you're not sure what it is, you just kind of, you just kind of tough it out. You just ride it out, man. And you just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> like, you know, and you'll discuss it with other people. Like people will 
right? I mean, I've, I've literally been at dinner parties, not even joking, where the conversation is just, I wonder what I had that one time, or I wonder what my problem is now. And you're just sitting in like a circle discussing what every ailment could possibly be and like guessing and shit. And like, oh, does this supplement work? Like, what can I get over the counter? And it's just kind of so funny because I noticed, and I'm not saying every country's like this, obviously, that's, that's stupid. There's lots of countries that are way worse. But like countries like Canada or, or Sweden or like even places like Germany, they have like a better system. And it's almost funny when you'll talk about an ailment and they'll be like, oh, go to the doctor. And it's like, dude, that's not how it works. <laughs> like, that's not how it works here, man. Like, like, you know, we got to discuss this shit for like five hours and figure it out. And then like do a bunch of Googling and then, uh, you know, just fucking read up on this shit. And then, and, and you have to be sure that you need to go to the doctor. Because if you don't, if you're not sure, boy, are you going to regret it. But yeah, I've had, I've, you know, it's like that for everyone too. I mean, other than people have really good health care or just have more money or whatever. But like, it's just, it's just kind of funny how it works that way here. I mean, it, it's like you literally have to, you know, have like, like a, like a meeting with all your closest friends and relatives to determine if you actually need to go and if it's worth the cost. But, yeah, you know, and I've had, like, other moments like that in my life. Like, I remember, you know, I've hurt my ankle before, and, like, man, that shit turned to the size of a softball and just a bunch of other stuff that where I was just like, you, you just wait, man. Whereas I feel like someone in Canada would have been, like, at the emergency room immediately. Um, so, yeah, so to wrap this up real quick, because um, I'm already rambling. Uh, to the cat man, have you ever had an ailment? And which I know you have, because everyone has. But I guess my question is, what is your most recent ailment? Whether it's serious, not serious, answer this question however the hell you please. Um, that you just weren't sure what was going on, but you're like, I also don't want to pay the deductible or the full cost of the office price, whatever your situation is, to figure this out. So I'm going to ride this out for as long as I can and make sure it's worth going. Or maybe you never ended up going and maybe you found out what it was. Maybe you never found out what it was. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just curious to know, like, what was your last situation that was like this? Or even just any situation. I mean, answer it however the hell you want, man. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool to get an upload about that from you. So, yeah, man, I'll talk to you later. See ya.